Brooke, this weekend, would you like to go out and see the Christmas lights with me downtown? Recently, you and I hadn't really been going out much. So, I was thinking we could do that and also grab something to eat. Oh, I'm sorry, Steven. This weekend, I'll be going out with a friend. Wait, you're going out again this weekend? It's the end of the year, right? There are all kinds of New Year's parties to go to. Last week, I got out with some friends from college. But this weekend happens to be a friend from high school, and we'll be meeting up with some of her friends. I see. I really wanted to go out with you this weekend, though, since we haven't gone out to do anything for some time. Well, you and I can go out with one another anytime, though, right? You and I went out shopping together the other day as well. That was just you saying you wanted to buy some bread at the store, so you came along with me. It wasn't like a date or anything. I happen to think that no matter where we go together, I'm happy and look at it like a date. And I'm totally happy every time we get to be together and go out. But shopping at the grocery store isn't really a date. Also, for Christmas, I was out of town, right? I really wanted to go out before then, but it's too late now. So do you think we could make something happen before New Year's Day? I see. And you're supposed to be going on another trip come New Year's Day, right? Yeah. We've been married for only two years, yet my company is already having me go on all these dang trips all the time. But right now, you and I don't have any kids, and I think that is best you get all of this business trips out of the way now before we have a little family of our own. Well, you make a good point there, I guess. After that trip, you and I can take it easy in January, so don't get too upset now. Then you and I can go out on all sorts of dates together. But come January... All of the fun things like Christmas lights will be taken down. Everything will be slowing down, and the winter will only get colder. Hmm, I suppose. Well, then what should we do? Actually, the better question is, what should we do for New Year's? I think that night our families will want to see us, right? Whose house do you want to go to before you have to head out the next day? Either house is fine with me. Um, uh, I feel the same way. Actually, my family has even said that this year we don't have to celebrate with them. <laughs> Well, we're able to see them all the time considering their house is close by. I guess I'll ask my parents about it and see what they have planned that night. Is that all right with you? She might be making something that night for dinner already, so I want her to be aware that we can make it too. Go ahead and let her know. I'm really looking forward to whatever she'll cook up for us this time. I'll go and let my parents know that we're going to your parents' house on New Year's Eve as well. Sounds good. I'll get in touch with my parents right now. That's right. Oh, can you tell your mom thanks for me? Thanks for what? Remember the last time she was over, she dropped off some snacks she got on vacation? Those were all so amazing, right? Ah, all those little cakes and stuff were awesome. All right, I'll let her know you said thanks. By the way, back when she was over here visiting us, your mom didn't seem all too well, right? You think so? Normally, she's all happy and energetic when she's around us, right? Yet that last time, she seemed a little bit out of it. Like, the way she was talking and moving just wasn't like her. Well, that might just be me thinking that. I'm sure she was just tired and all from that trip she was on. You think so? To me, she seemed like there was something going on in her life. Actually, when my mom went and took that trip, it was because of a fight she had with my dad. And well, she just got up and left the house after that to be away from him. I'm sure she was just thinking about all of that. What? Your mom and dad got into a fight? Yeah. Although my mom told me not to say anything to you about it because she felt embarrassed about what happened. What happened after that fight is she went to a spa out of state, and then came to our town to stay at a hotel for a little bit before going back home. I see. So that fight must have really tired her out then. But that's not really like her. I always had this image that your mom and dad were so close to one another that they'd never really get into fights. Even I like to think those two are so happy with one another. I'm not sure I should be saying this about those two, but I think they're both kind of stupid with one another. I'm sure the reason for that fight was also stupid and unnecessary. So you don't really have to worry about it. Well, as long as it wasn't anything serious, that's good. Anyway, let your mom know that I said thanks for the snacks. Alright, I will. I should be home on time today once work is finished up. Okay. Good luck with the rest of your work today. Steven, I don't think I can do this anymore. What? Did my mom come over to the house again? Yeah, and she only just left the house finally. Last week it was four times, and this was her third time coming here this week. Did you know that? I think all of this is getting a bit too far out of hand. I'm sorry. I told her already at the end of last week to stop coming over to the house so often. I was hoping she'd listen to me. 
Yesterday, after I was out all morning, I came home to her out in our yard doing yard work. I was shocked when she popped her head out from behind the bushes. I told her that if she knew we weren't home that she could just go back to her place and not do any of that. Or she could send me a message or something letting me know that she was there waiting. That's very true. I wonder what's gotten into her. I'd like to ask her that as well. Did I do something that made her feel as though she has to be here all the time? Has your mom not said anything to you about this yet? Not yet. She did say, though, that she's trying to be more active again. And we'll take a walk all the way over to our house. But she doesn't have to come all the way to our house every single time, right? You're right. I wonder what her real reasoning behind all of this is. This sort of thing has never happened before. And another thing, she's been a bit cold to me lately. What? My mom has been? Yeah, I'm wondering if she's starting to hate me or something. But you and my mom have been so kind to one another thus far. I don't think she'd just start to hate you one day like that. And I'm not so sure she's even the kind of person that would be so passively hateful towards another person. Everyone is different, though, when it comes to what makes them upset with others. There must have been something I did wrong that led to this. Could it be because I asked for you to say thanks to her for those snacks? She would never get upset over something as simple as that. Also, when you got those from her, you told her thanks in person, right? I did. Then there's no way that has anything to do with what's going on here. That was also the last time you saw my mom in person before she changed, right? Since then, she hasn't been texting you or anything either? Not yet. Then she might really just be trying to stay active. And what you're perceiving as her hating you is really her just being tired from that much walking. Well, even if that's the case, I'm still not happy with her coming over to our house all the time. Don't think I have anything against her and that's why I'm complaining. I just happen to have things going on myself. I'll make sure to talk with my mom one more time regarding this. And I'll tell her to stop coming over to the house all the time for you. Are you sure? I'm not sure that's going to be enough. I'll make sure she understands to stay away. How about I let her know that recently you haven't been doing too well health-wise? All right. Please and thank you. I just hope that she gets what you're saying this time. I think this will all be fine. The fact that she's still coming even after the last time I told her to stop has gotten me a bit upset. And although she is my mom and all, she needs to understand that we need some privacy here. Which I'm sure she'll get this time. Well, we'll see about that. It's not like she's ever been this way around me before, but recently your mom has been really scaring me. Perhaps she's gotten into another fight with your dad or something? So far, I haven't heard anything else about that. For the time being, if I hear anything else from her, I'll let you know. Once I'm finished up with work today, I'll contact her and see what's going on. Mom? What are you actually doing? Steven? What's the matter? You know what this is about. Because of you, my wife has moved away from me. Stop trying to mess with Brooke behind my back, please. I already told you that she hasn't been feeling good recently, yet you still kept coming over to the house all the time. Why? And whenever you come over there, you stay there all day with her and ask her to do all sorts of things for you, right? I just got a call from her a second ago saying she's left my house. She's moved out now? Why not just get the divorce at this point? That would make me the most happy. Huh? What the heck has gotten into you, Mom? The reason she's left my house is all because of your actions. I don't think that I'm to blame for her moving out of your house. I think that it's just within her best interest to make it seem like I was the reason for it. What are you talking about, Mom? Steven, I want you to calm down and listen to me. There's no way I can calm down at a time like this. I'm sure you're all worked up about things right now, but there is something really important I must talk with you about. What is it? Are you going to try and get me to believe that you bullying my wife was warranted in some way? Actually, this has to do with Brooke having an affair. Huh? Brooke has been cheating on me? Stop that, Mom! Why would you start making jokes like that about her now? You think I'd be able to joke about something as serious as this? The reason I've been going over to your house so often lately is to get my eyes on your wife cheating on you. What? At first, I just thought I had the wrong idea is all. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I can't think right now. Is Brooke really having relations with another man right now? How about we start from the beginning here? You remember when I had that fight with your dad and left the house for a bit, right? Yeah. That was about a month ago. That's right. At the time, I stayed the night at a spa over in Las Vegas. Then I told you that I came into town and spent the night at a hotel here for a couple of nights, right? Yeah? 
At that time, I saw Brooke was staying at the same hotel as me. She was with another man as well. They both seemed really close to one another, and so I wouldn't have called them just friends or anything like that. What? I was so surprised by what I saw that it left me speechless for some time. I only saw her and the man for a second, so I didn't even want to believe it at the time. But then I started to wonder if what had happened was really real after all. And that's why I started to visit your house all the time, trying to figure things out. I was hoping I could get to a point where I could stop Brooke from cheating on you. But then you wouldn't have been heartbroken. So you're telling me that since the hotel scene, she has still been going out with that man? Yes. I would go over to your house all the time and stay there trying to keep her from going out. But I couldn't go to your house every single day, right? So in the end, to figure out once and for all who she was going out with while I wasn't around, and if this all was really happening, I had a detective start to follow her. Is that right? So this must mean you have proof of all this now, too? Yes, but I still haven't been able to get anything from the man she's with. I'm thinking that Brooke has been wanting to divorce you for a long time now, though. You mean you think she's been wanting to leave me and go be with that guy? I believe she's already been talking with her other man about that. I'm not sure how she really feels, though. But if she's out of the house and living by herself now, then it's the perfect time for that divorce. I never meant to make it seem as though I was picking on her that whole time, but I had to do something about her. So it's true that I was forcing myself to come over a lot of the time. I'm sorry. I'm sure that you're telling me the truth about all this. But for some reason, my body is not wanting to believe you. You never felt that she was up to something while you both lived together? I'm not so sure, Mom. Ah, uh, but... Recently, her and I haven't been going out together anymore, on things like dates and such. I know it's too late for me to realize that now, but... Steven, do you think you can come over to my house today? I'm sure this is all tough on you, but I'd really like to have you here so that I can show you all the details. I have a lot of evidence that the detective got for me. Alright, I'm not sure if I can take the rest of the day off today, but I'll have a chat with my boss and see if he says it's okay for me to leave early. I'm sorry, Steven, that all of this has happened. You don't have to apologize for any of this, Mom. I'm gonna go have a talk with my boss about leaving early now. If I'm able to head over to your house soon, I'll let you know. I'll try my best to get there as soon as possible. Alright, be careful on your way over here. I'm sure you're not feeling very well right now, so take your drive over here slowly, please. Steven, you're back from your business trip, right? Yes. Well, um, I have something to say about how things are going to be from now on. I'm thinking that I want a divorce. Is this because of my mom? Yeah. You were telling me all the time that your mom would never be messing with me and causing all this trouble. But to me, everything she was doing was horrible and I couldn't deal with it anymore. I feel sorry for saying this, but as long as that woman is with you, I can't be your wife anymore. Then, what if I said I'll cut ties to her right now? This isn't about that anymore. So then that means my mom isn't the cause for the divorce? That must mean you have something against me? You have it all wrong. There's nothing about you that I'm upset with. I'm sorry, if I could continue to put up with all this, I would stay with you. But in marriage, it's not about one being at fault and the other being innocent. I like to think a lot of things went into this decision. And besides, even if you were to cut ties with her, you'd still regard her as more important than me, right? Good point. I would never be able to actually cut ties to my mom anyway, so let's get this divorce. Alright, I think that's the best choice for both of us now. I myself would never want to stay married to someone who's been cheating the whole time and trying to pin blame on my mom for the divorce. What? Brooke, I already know about everything. You don't have to keep trying with the whole, my mom is bullying you, gag. Already know everything? What? I have not been cheating on you, Steven. The reason my mom started to act all strange around you is because she witnessed you cheating on me. She saw you with another man when she went to stay at a hotel in town after her fight with my dad. No way. What are you talking about? Your mom had to have seen someone else, right? There's no way in hell she could start picking on me all because she thought she saw me with someone else. I'm saying all of this about you right now because we know you were there. My mom made sure to hire a detective after what she saw. Huh? A detective? That's right. That's why we are 100% sure about you cheating on me now. The reason my mom had been coming over to the house all the time after seeing you was because she had been trying to stop you from cheating on me. She thought that by keeping you around the house during the day, you wouldn't be able to meet with that man. No, wait, you're wrong. I'm not cheating. I've actually been looking for a job. 
and at the time I was with that man talking about work. Is there really any reason for you to be talking with another man in a hotel room? About finding work? What we were talking about wasn't something that should be said in public. It was a secret offer from him. Would you cut it out already? I have evidence now of you having relations with that man. We are getting this divorce, so there's no point in trying to make up excuses now. But just know that I will be getting a settlement from you for cheating on me. And, of course, they'll have to pay up as well. Steven, hold on. You really do have this wrong. I was... I was just tricked by that man. I have audio recording of you telling that man that you wanted to live together with him after you left me. I'm finding it very, very hard to believe that he was tricking you in any way. I was only talking like that because he brought something like that up. I'm tired of these excuses, Brooke. I'll have my lawyer get in touch with you later about all of the details. And, as for the divorce, you'll be spoken to about that as well. Wait! Steven, I don't want to get a divorce! Hmm? I was just wanting this divorce because I've been feeling guilty. Really, I don't want to be away from you. Oh. Is that so? Hey, if you don't completely hate my guts now, do you think we can fix things between us here? I've realized that I don't want to be away from you after all. Thanks. Does that mean that you and I can continue staying together and work things out? This whole week knowing about how you've been getting dicked down by that other guy has really been heartbreaking. I was really hoping you weren't actually doing anything with him. But look, both yesterday and the day before yesterday, you've been spending your New Year's with him, right? He told me you couldn't go out with me at all, to see those Christmas lights or anything. And just a second ago, you were going on about wanting to divorce me. But now that I've brought up the settlement, you want to work something out? I'm so happy I've decided to go with divorce today. Happy from the bottom of my heart. This isn't about me not wanting to pay you that settlement or anything. I really believe that I need to be with you, Steven. Stop forcing yourself to say things like that to me. That guy you've been cheating on me with. He's poor as hell, right? Huh, you met him on a dating app, and he turned out to be the member of a crappy band, right? Did you think that, like, using my mom as your reason for divorcing me, you could take half my money and run? And then you and your buddy there could live off that money for a little while together, right? I'm sure you figured out now that your plan isn't going to work out for you after all, and that's why you're trying to keep me around again. You have it all wrong! When I started to think about leaving you, I realized that you are the most important thing to me. Why have you changed so much from the person you were just a second ago? Shouldn't you be with the one you love most? Be thankful that I'm finally giving you the chance to get married to him. I'm sorry, Steven. Steven, I don't want this divorce anymore. Please, please rethink what you're doing here. I'm done here. I will never have someone as pathetic as you and my family. Cheating on me? And then trying to get money from a divorce with me by blaming my mom? Also that you can have some kind of funding for your vacation with that moneyless loser? I'm going to give you what you asked for, and that means we're done here. This is the best choice for the both of us, right? After that, my wife continued to go on about not wanting the divorce to happen. But I had all the evidence for cheating on me and wanting the divorce as well. And after letting her parents know about it, they chewed the hell out of her, leading to a very quick divorce. Of course, I'll also be getting a settlement from her partner, and he's agreed to give the money to me. However, he had no money of his own, so his parents would be stepping in for him and paying me the settlement. After his parents found out what he'd been up to, they took him back to their house, and have put him to work on their farm until he's paid them twice the amount they gave me. Also, considering both parties didn't want their kids to be around one another anymore, they made them break up before taking their phones away. A little while after that, I started to get more texts from Brooke again about wanting to get back together, but I'm not going to even bother talking to her anymore. I've gone and blocked her phone number now, so there shouldn't be another word coming out of her towards me. It was a shock to me that my wife had been cheating, but had my mom never stepped in to try and stop it, I would have been divorced by Brooke not even knowing about the real reason for it. She was going to try and use my mom coming over and picking on her all the time as the reason she wanted to leave me. But, in the end, my mom helped me find out the real reason. My mom even took the time to show me all the evidence and that helped me trust her even more. I'm still not over all the pain that comes with divorce and being cheated on by the one I thought loved me, but luckily, I still have a lot of good friends and family around to comfort me. I'm going to thank those who helped me in recovering from my heartbreak, and make sure that from now on I spend more time with all of them, without forgetting how much worse things could have ended for myself. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. Hey, Matthew? About the lunch meetup with our parents? Mom told me there's trouble at her work. She tried sorting it out, hoping someone else could deal with it. But 
she also mentioned she has to go into the office today. So, it seems like I will be at the restaurant without my mom first. I hope that's okay. Oh, really? It's a bummer that she has to go to the office on her day off. If she needs to be there, it must be some serious trouble. Don't worry about it. Just tell her to focus on her work. Thank you, I will. She's going to make it even if she's late. She said she'll do her best to wrap things up as quickly as she can. Can you let your parents know? Also, please convey how sorry we are to them. Got it. I'll let them know. At first, we planned this get-together to introduce you to my family as my fiancé. But then, Mom mentioned she wanted to meet your mother before our wedding. I'm sorry for asking your busy mother to make time for us at the last minute. Mom is excited to meet you and your parents, so don't worry. That's good. All right, let's get ready soon and go pick up my parents. Take care. Let me know if you get lost. Take care too. The reservation is at 12, so I'll make sure not to be late. I'll see you later. It was lovely meeting you earlier. It's Victoria, Matthew's mother. I'm telling you, a woman like you, raised by a single mother? It's your fault for wanting to marry my lovely son. How nice of you to send a message after what you did to me. What was your intention in doing such a thing? And how did you get my contact information? When Matthew stepped away for a moment, leaving his phone unattended, I quickly checked it to find your contact information. What? Really? As soon as I entered the reserved private room of the restaurant, I never imagined I had experienced being slapped with a wad of cash in my life. So what? Are you expecting me to apologize? No way! I have no intention of apologizing to a poor woman like you who grew up in a single-parent home. Never! By the way, do you know how much money was in that wad? I was too shocked. I don't remember anything. That wad of cash was worth $10,000. I see. That's a lot of money, and you went to all the trouble of preparing it in advance so that you could slap me? You really hate me that much? I don't get why you're treating me this way. What did I do to you? I already said it, didn't I? All right, I'll say it again. I can't allow my precious son, whom I've raised with love and care, to marry someone like you coming from a poor single-parent household. It's true I was raised in a single-parent household, but we are not poor. I don't understand what's wrong with being raised by a single parent. Not poor? That can't be true. Stop lying. Single-parent households definitely struggle financially. My mother earns a decent income, so we've never faced financial difficulties. Not even once. You think that way because you grew up in a poor household. You don't even realize you're poor. On the contrary, my family invested a lot in loving and raising my son, and we didn't face any financial issue. You're a worthless woman who just wants to take advantage of Matthew's money. But that's not going to happen. Matthew seems completely deceived by you. So I have to do something about it. It breaks my heart hearing all this from you. I accept the fact that you don't like me at this point in time. But even so, using a wad of cash to slap me before introducing myself? Do you really think that's the right thing to do as a mother? Huh? 
Are you really that stupid? I did it because I know I'm doing what's right. That's how much I don't approve of you as my son's fiancé. You poor thing. You won't get it until it's spelled out for you. Seriously? It's unimaginable for a mother to be late for such an important dinner like this. Because she doesn't have a decent job. She's being used like that, right? I assume you've heard it from Matthew. But my mom is running late due to some work trouble. I'm sorry about that. But could you please understand the situation? Being called into the office on day off? That's unheard of. What kind of major blunder would lead to something like that? My mother didn't cause the trouble. Besides, my mother just texted me that she will be arriving soon. Huh? She's coming now? Wait, where are you right now? The restaurant staff offered me to stay in a vacant private room. What? You're still around? Then come and get it quickly. Get what? The money, obviously. You need the money anyway, don't you? If you break up with my son, I'll give you $10,000. Your mother might cry tears of joy. <laughs> You're welcome. Excuse me. I just got a call from my mother that she just arrived. Please give me a moment to talk with her. I will contact you again. I just spoke with my mother. I told her everything you mentioned earlier. So what? It won't change my mind. Let me ask you this just to be sure. Do you really want me to break up with your son? Of course. I'm telling you to break up with him right now. I understand. I'll go over there with my mother now. So, coming here means you still want the $10,000, huh? Poor people really have no pride. <laughs> I'll give you the $10,000, so after you receive it, get the hell out of my sight. Don't ever see my son again. Hannah, please, wait a moment. I didn't know. I never imagined that your mother was the president of our company. It's a common surname, so I didn't notice. I'm really sorry. Please, please come back again. Hannah, I'm really sorry. You can marry my son. Just let me talk to your mother. If this doesn't work out, my position at the company may be in jeopardy. Hey, are you reading this? I'm begging you this much, so please respond. Hana? Mom. Matthew, where were you? Hannah is not replying to me. Please bring her back. I'm with Hannah. What? Hannah's mother is also here. What? Is that so? Then please, bring the two of them here. Or please tell them to reply to me, please. Seriously, who do you think you are? What? After causing all this, you still don't realize that your position is in jeopardy? Um... Or do you realize but are avoiding facing reality? I'm telling you, it's your fault. Why didn't you tell me that Hannah's mother is the president of our company? If I had known, this wouldn't have happened. I chose not to tell you chose not to you always judge people so easily based on appearance occupation education or upbringing right well yes but what's wrong with that 
If I told you in advance that Hannah's mom is the president of your company, you would surely have fawned over Hannah's mother. I thought today's meeting would have turned awkward. You know? Well, she's the president. Right. That's why I didn't tell you. But I never imagined it would turn out to be like this. I think you are insane. How could you slap a person with a wad of cash? I feel ashamed to be your son. That's... Come to think of it, isn't that money was Dad's? Um... There's no use playing dumb. I know about it. That money is what Dad inherited from Grandpa. I know that you and Dad know each other's personal identification number for emergencies. But it is not an emergency, and it's wrong to withdraw it without permission. But I'm his wife, so I thought it's okay to do it. It's not okay. And besides, you took someone's money without permission, slapped my fiancé with it, and asked her to leave me in exchange for that money. Are you serious? Have you no shame? Well, um... I'm so ashamed of myself for having a stupid mother. Matthew? How dare you talk to your mother like that? I'm just saying what I want to say because I'm going to cut the ties between you and me. What? And also, I'm sure Hannah will probably claim medical expenses, compensation, and damages for the period she can't work. Make sure you pay for it. What? What for? Remember when you slapped her and she was surprised and fell to the ground? At that moment, she fell into an awkward position. Oh no. She was in a lot of pain, so I took her to the hospital and they told her it was a fracture. Hannah works in an office, mostly on the computer. If she can't use her hand, she'll have to take weeks off work. That's a lie. Absolutely a lie. But she was texting me earlier. If she has a broken hand, how can she type? I know you are lying. If you were trying to trick me into taking my money, it's not going to happen. Oh, about earlier, it was me typing. What? Well, it's no wonder you didn't notice. I was typing what Hannah was saying. No way. I really can't believe what you said to my fiancé. No, that was... I'm going to take Hannah home now. Bye. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, and make sure to return the money to Dad. Wait! Matthew! Hannah, I'm really sorry for causing the fracture. I'm begging you, please forgive me. So, I have a favor to ask you. Can you let me talk to your mother? If things continue like this, I'll be demoted. My husband is pretty angry, too. He said he wants a divorce. Hey, you want to marry my son, right? I'll give you my approval, so please. Hannah, are you there? Please, I'm begging you. Hi, Matthew. Oh, hey. How's your hand? Are you feeling better now? It's been almost three weeks, right? Yeah, but I'm not completely healed yet. I still have to go to physical therapy. But I'll be back at work on Monday. That's great. I know things have been tough, but you never gave up. I'm so proud of you. 
Oh, thank you, Matthew. By the way, last time you mentioned that your parents were going through divorce proceedings. Are they living separately now? Yes, they are. My parents' house is in my father's name, so my mother moved out. Oh, really? After consulting a lawyer, we filed a complaint with the police regarding my mother's actions. Then, my mother offered to compensate us and requested that we withdraw the complaint, right? Yeah, she actually paid, and we withdrew the complaint. It seems my mother withdrew money from my father's account again to cover that compensation. What? I guess that made him proceed with a divorce. I don't believe it's just about this incident. Rather, it seems that all the issues that have accumulated over time have finally reached a breaking point for him. Well, that's understandable. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the day when your mom was late due to work trouble during the meetup with my parents? Well, that trouble was actually... Oh, that? I heard about it later from mom, too. It was because your mom made a mistake at her job, right? Yeah, it looks like she got demoted because of it. I see. It's surprising how arrogantly she behaves despite being at fault. Even though she's my mother, I feel ashamed. I'm genuinely sorry to you and your mother. You didn't do anything wrong, so you don't have to apologize. My mom thinks the same too. Thank you for the understanding. Anyways, I brought the brochure of the wedding venue we were talking about the other day. Want to take a look? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll bring it tomorrow. Well then, I'm going to sleep soon. I have to wake up early for our date. All right. I'm going to sleep soon, too. I can't wait to see you. Me, too. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, sweet dreams. As a result of the divorce settlement, my parents' divorce was finalized. The savings that my mother withdrew from my father's account it seems she promised to repay $500 each month. Of course, we have no intention of inviting my mother to the wedding. When she was informed of this through our lawyer, she broke down in tears. While she's deeply saddened by being disowned by her son, she seems to not understand what went wrong. Apparently, she did something within the company that violated compliance regulations and she was finally fired. With no severance pay, my mother, who had no savings, has to make monthly repayments to my father. Additionally, she has to earn money to support herself, so now she's working a part-time job she managed to find. It seems she works with teary eyes as she gets scolded by a manager who is younger than her.